These are the implants I removed in a very interesting case. Uh, essentially, our patient had a breast augmentation back in 1999 um, with unknown implants. Now, she did contact her surgeon to get details of her implants, but couldn't get the uh, details. She was slightly different uh, sized on, on both sides uh, prior to her operation and felt her left was slightly larger. So essentially she didn't know what type of implant she had in, but she had developed a capsule on the right side. So a grade three capsule is a painful, firm capsule with distortion and change in shape of the breast. That's what makes it grade three. And on the left, she had a scan which showed she had a ruptured implant. And so essentially, she didn't know what type of implant, what size she had. So what was interesting is in the operation. In the operation, I removed this implant from the right with the capsule. So you can see, I hope, that this is essentially a bag that contained the implant. So I've removed the whole capsule. I've released it just to uh, let the uh, implant out. But the whole implant would have been held within this bag. Um, yep, it's all, but when it's held within the capsule, the capsule is really scar tissue which forms around the implant, it would have been held tight and squashed and that's what gives the pain and the different shape to the breast. But that's the capsule which we're going to send off for analysis. And you can imagine if that was around the implant it would really have pulled it quite um, tight and constricted it, really quite thick. Okay, so that's that side, in tap but with a capsule. We don't know the make of that implant. On the left, different story. Uh, this is a PIP implant, so I was surprised when I moved it, removed this, because normally you'd have implants of the same make. They might not be the same size if there is a, some breast asymmetry, but they would be the same make. So I was a bit surprised to find a PIP implant. Um, which was 350 cc's compared to 370 on the right and the PIP implant was ruptured in uh, two pieces. So that's one piece you can see there and that's one piece you can see there. So I think this is an interesting case. Number one, very important to get the details of your implants if possible. And the other lessons it teaches us is if you do have a capsule, really the management is uh, to take the whole capsule out. That's a total capsulectomy with uh, uh, the capsule being sent off for uh, analysis in the laboratory. Um, and also shows you this is very typical appearance of a PIP implant. A patient didn't know she had a PIP, but this is exactly the type of rupture we find with a PIP. Severe uh, rupture, um, um, and we've uh, removed over 350 PIP, uh, uh, PIP implants from uh, patients. That's 350 patients, and we've got a, found a 25% of the, or a quarter of the patients have had severe ruptures like this. So an interesting uh, case and a real learning uh, opportunity for all of us in this case. Essentially, do find out which uh, implants you have and keep a record of that. Thanks very much for watching the video. Hope you found it useful and informative. And please feel free, if you would like to find more information about PIP or any other type of implants, please visit our website, Aurora Clinics. Thank you.